This is John Cerriello, the chairman for the Tilton Historical Society. And today we're visiting with Dick and Leo Montambo and Roy Silly's here too. And we're going to talk a little bit about the old Montambo house that used to be across the street from the Park Cemetery on West Main Street. So thank you, Dick and Leo, for talking to us today. Um, we'd love to learn about what the area was like when you guys were living here. And uh, Dick, uh, you were born 1940 and Leo 1934. So that's a lot of history between both of you. So what do you guys remember about the early years of being here at the old Mont Montambo house where Kettlehead uh, Brewery now is? I can remember when we moved in. Into the Montambo house? Yes. It was June of 44 because they were just, they were celebrating victory in, in Europe at the time. Oh, the war. That was 45. Yeah. yeah. That would have been 45. 45? Yeah. Yeah, pretty now, close. Anyways, I was living with my aunt and uncle up on Salisbury Street in Franklin. They gave, came over and we went up with us Guam, spent the weekend up there with Jerry Deuce that's had, had a house, uh, yeah. cottage up there. That's another the relative. So the high school would have been brand new when you oh, guys were yeah, there. Oh, yeah, that was 38. So it was there already when you guys remember it always being yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what was where the middle school is? Yeah. Yeah, a pond. swamp. There was a pond there. Swamp. Okay, it was all wetlands. And it's still a swamp. I think that they've actually had a lot of water issues, yeah. according to Bonnie yeah. Randall, in the library there. Yeah. So it, it, the thing was poorly built. Yeah. Yeah, when it was, it was crap about I should have told you something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, anyways, uh, you know, it was, uh, the roof leaked all the time. And yeah. Like that. I can remember that, because when, when they built it, because... My kids didn't go to school there. They uh, got older and when it was built. I think I heard someone say that they used to ice skate in the winter time on yes, the pond. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah. And uh, that's where I went out of ice skate. Do you remember who owned the Montambo house before your folks moved in? Nope. No. I no. Nope. I don't either. Yeah. Never was in the. Yeah, because I was like four years old. So. Yeah, very yeah. young. And I went much older, so. Well. Between us is about five to six years. Do you guys remember Deer Park that used to be right here across from you? No, no, it was no. all woods. It was all woods there. and abandoned yeah. by then? Yeah. They say that the park was kind of given up on and the, um, there was a, a really big storm, a hurricane in the 30s. Yeah. And they said a lot of the trees heard, fell. Yeah. And 39. that's when there was so much damage that they just gave up on the park. Were the bridges there? Do you remember crossing the the there was the a brook? bridge. There was a bridge right out here, a small bridge right out here that went across from where the uh, and it was just made of stone. Yeah. And it was right out here where the pond was, and it was like a brook going down in. Then there, it, apparently there was another pond there. Oh, okay. And it went all the way down to the highway. Okay. And the embutment, there was an embutment right by the, where the walkway is and the highway. There, there's a, uh, that brook goes right across and right there and goes along the cemetery. It goes down to the river. Yep. And I, I can remember that being there. Yeah, that still runs through. You can yeah. still see remnants of yeah. that. But, yeah, they had bright, all those things were bridle part, uh, trails, uh, the Tiltons to come down and ride, they, they'd have a picnic up here. Hmm. Yeah, it was, um, I guess that they built it, um, from what we understand, the park had very tall white pines, yeah. it was always shaded, so it was a place for people in the summertime to hang out, walk around, but yeah. there was a riding park yeah. around it, yeah. for people who wanted to ride their horses. Yeah. Um, and supposedly there was a gazebo, uh, like a big summer house, like the one that's in the cemetery, probably where the middle school was or somewhere towards Winter Street, because the park itself went all the way from Winter Street down to Main Street originally. Yeah. Um, and this is before your time. They were going back to the 1800s yeah, yeah. when they first put it in. I worked, I worked up to, up the, uh, the, for the Tiltons up to 
up the mansion. Oh, the you whole did? Summer. Oh, what did you do? I was, uh, well, Mrs. Tilton told me, you got to keep that flower bed clean. And what Jimmy Faye couldn't get with the tractor, you got to do it with the hand. Oh. That's your job. <laughs> and I says, yeah. He says, and it pays $35 a, a summer. Wow. I says, that's a lot of money. And it was. <laughs> sure. 1948. So what do you guys remember about downtown? Because downtown must have been a very busy area at one oh, time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it uh, had the fire station, you know, and, uh, you know, that was just like two bays and that was that. Yeah. And then uh, they had the, because uh, the, uh, the post office was in the town hall. Yep. And uh, then they had the train station. Yeah. And one thing I can remember way back, uh, my father had a cobble shop uh, right there where the Indian is now, Scondo is, is now, right in that area, you know, in that that building. So right in the, yeah. the building that used to be in the corner of Park Street and Main yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember, you know, uh, one time a steam engine train came through and it was the last run of a steam engine. Oh, wow. And all the old guys that worked at railroad were all there. And I remember grown men crying, you know. Yeah. And, the last mm. of an era, and I, I can wow. remember that one. I was, and I think that was probably about 1945 or Oh, wow, that was early. Mm. Yeah. Because the trains ran all the way into the 70s, I think, right? The trains were, yeah, but the by trains. then they they gone to a, a diesel and diesel electric yeah. and something like that. So, Did yeah. you guys, do you remember riding the trains? I yeah. remember, yep. Where'd you, where'd the you last, go? The last one, we went to the football game up to Laconia. On the train. Well, that must have been yeah. fun to do. Then I well, that was a big, big thing because it was Concord and Laconia playing. Oh. So they had a special train to transport people both. Hmm. Wow. And I remember going, uh, I, I think the war was over. And uh, one of my brothers was home, my brother Roger, my oldest brother. He went in 1937 in the military. He stayed there all his life. They threw him out when he got 60. But anyways, we we went to Franklin and got on a train, came up up here. Now it was some kind of a victory train or something, and went to Belmont and backed into Gardner's Grove. Hmm. Oh, cool! I remember that. that yeah. Thing. And I remember being thrown in the water because I didn't know how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to teach me. Good way to learn. <laughs> yeah. Or not. My brother Roger threw me in the pond. Oh yeah. Yeah, my father told me. Over Park was given to well was given to my mother when on uh, on Cross Mill Road. On uh, Cross yeah. Mill Road and Sorry, nice pond out there. I was out there pit moving around. He says you don't know how to swim. I said no. So he got me up over after the dam. Threw it's me where up. you went to. <laughs> he said paddle. They had a they had a dam there. And they uh, were. Uh, where Hannaford is now, there's a, there's a brook comes down through there, yep. it goes right down there, and they, they had a dam down there, and they uh, backed up water and made a little pond, and they had a cider mill there run by water power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My father made cider and stuff like that, and wine, and other, mm -hmm. other things there. Yeah. Wow. Well, did did Gardner's Grove, did they have sca skated in there? What's that? Was that a skating park inside there? I, yeah, I don't know if there was. Ice a, skating? There might have been a roller. Yeah. No, roller skating. Roller oh, roller skating. skating. Yeah. yeah, inside there. It was an amusement area. Yeah. Huh. Where was this? Gardner's Grove. Grove. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's oh, over on the Belmont Grove, side of yeah. the river. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Across from where. It's the, old, the old line that went to Belmont and went right by it. Yep. Yep. And I guess years ago, because my mother used to say they used to go dancing there and stuff. Yeah. 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 It was like a big ballroom. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Huh. They had uh, you know all kinds of amusement stuff there and stuff like yeah. that, and, and a whole a small hotel. What do you guys remember about downtown? Some of the stores that were there. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I remember where the you know where the uh, the Indian was there was in uh, where the where Squanto is now. You know, right, uh, right at right the corner of Park railroad, Street railroad station. Yeah. And because they had the railroad station there and the parking lot there, and then uh, then uh, uh, going uh, up the tracks a little way to the county, I just you know was a, a little park in there. Mm -hmm. That's where that Indian was. Yeah. Then there was a building 
the other side of that. And I remember they they had um, soft drink thing in their bottles, you know, adult bottles up that there. There was a few cans, I, I think. I think Hired Root Beer was in it. Yeah. Can, and yeah, Penny, you know, my like, kid used to go down when the truck would come in to unload because they would unload from the, uh, well, they would come in to load, but they would unload from the railroad car okay. and put it in that building. Was that the building that had the big porch on the front? Yeah, all across the yes. front. And because we'd help unload, then we'd get a free drink. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember my cousin, Peeny Harbor? Yep. Yeah, he used to work for them. Yeah. Because when I was real small, I used to ride in a truck with him. Yep. Help him yeah. deliver. Yeah. So I know it was I tonics. I don't know what else it was or exactly what it was. But yeah. That's where he picked up all his stuff. Yep. See, you yeah. call it tonics. Yeah. We call it tonic down in Boston, too, yeah. the Boston area. Yeah. yeah. Not many people refer to soda as tonic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's an yeah. old, tonic old yeah. Yankee soda. thing. Yeah. What other stores downtown did you guys go to? Well, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm going up on the same side as the as the railroad station, and because uh, there was a bank there. Oh, bank that's lock. another thing. I yeah. own a savings. I got a picture that I gave to the town of Iona Savings when it was ground level and I think the street was, um, wasn't asphalt, it was some kind of hot dirt. macadam, dirt, yeah. and Mr. Peabody, who Arthur Brown's father-in-law, car was out in the front. And we think that car is a either a Durier or a Durant. Hmm. They, they all looked alike back then and it's pretty hard to tell. Big car. But we think it's 1911. Wow. Yeah. So Iona was there and, and uh, yeah, Citizens was Bank Iona, was there little, too. Little sign on this building. Yeah. And then afterwards they must have built a bigger building when they uh, they got enough money from the poor people that were working. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, then a little ways up was uh, Stebbins Drugstore. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Stebbins, yeah. And uh, then there was a a beer joint in there. Yeah. There had been a restaurant and a beer joint and uh, stuff like that. I don't that. know if it was still called the Happy no, Hour. I'm still then. talking in that yeah. same block. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then on the yeah. corner was a men's store, right? Where yeah. Charlie Cameron had his office. Right. For yeah. Years. There was a men's store there. Then you go up a little further and there was a, um, a grocery store. Yeah. And there was a movie theater. Next that's right, theater. the Bruno movie theater. Yeah. You remember yeah. them? Yeah. yeah. Grocery store. Yeah. And the grocery store before it. Yeah. yeah it was, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but then there was a... Boy and Carol. No, they they moved in there after. 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 Yeah. after. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try and go, I'm going along, still going along here, and then I'm talking in, the, you know, about the 50s, uh, the late 40s, and... Mm. 50s, and then there was a Earl's Barber Shop. Just before, before that, I'm trying oh, to think wow. what what was in there. There was some stores. Oh, it was um, Jimmy Shepherd. Yeah. Father had a uh, had a store in there. Yeah, a furniture store. Furniture store. So that was after the cinema, after the theater. Yeah. Then there was a the theater. Just going in the theater was just a little corridor. Yeah. Right, going right. in there, that belonged to the Brunos. Yeah. Brunos. Yeah. Okay, then you go a little further up with another store, and that belonged to the Raffleys. Yeah. And uh, it was a fruit, fruit and vegetable. Ah, yep. okay. Grocery, yep. like a yep. fresh and, groceries. Uh, then you go a little bit further up that same block was a was another drugstore. Presby's. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah. I remember remember her that owned it. She was, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't know. She was kind of. Strange woman. <laughs> he was and, here a long time. And, and one of yeah. the things is later years, I um, I worked in a gas station right there in town, and we used to service her car, which was a '36 Nash that was had dual ignition in it, which was kind of rare, you yeah. know, six cylinder, but it, mm. that's okay. And then further on up there was that corner, and I that that was a jewelry store. That Pettengill. Pettengill, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And then there was a diner there. Pop's, Pop's diner. diner. Pop's yeah. diner. And yeah. then down across the street was a town hall. Yeah. And then it was was the Tilton Inn. So you remember Hills Block across from Tilton Inn, the okay. big brick yeah. building? Okay, coming yeah. back. <laughs> well, On the other side. 
with the gas station and right across. Yep. And then, uh, and uh, let me see, I think it was a Tidal or something like that. I'm in, I'm in Tibbetts. I think before, Frank and I'm in Tibbetts. Yeah, I don't know who was they, there before them, but. Yeah, I'm thinking before that, but yeah. anyways. And then there was the, uh, an odd fellow's hall. Yeah, upstairs. upstairs uh, yeah. Greenwood's had a, had a plumber shop just before the. They could have been. The downstairs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm talking even before. I haven't even got to that big, big building yet. I'm, oh, no. I'm talking uh, where, uh, I don't remember. Where. Okay. Yeah, it was the Odd Fellows. Yeah, Lapelli's had, Lapelli had, had a had antique store, place yeah. in there, yep, afterwards. And then, uh, then uh, the other big block, I can call it the Henrik block. Because they were Herrick's, Herrick's drug Herrick was in there. there. Herrick's extra. Yeah, because upstairs was a big hall yeah. there. And uh, I don't remember what was in there. If it was. Uh, At one time, Lenny Virgin used to play music out there. Yeah, it was a That's big right. hall up there. Yeah. Didn't he play the piano for the movie theater, too? Yeah. Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah. And sometimes the window would be open and people on the street would hear well, him playing. He would, and he would, he would play. Play music up there, and he lived out right up by the movie theater. Yeah, right, he would right. play music out the street. That's so great. Because I re I remember the movies. You know, they always had sound. So right, because they had the they yeah. used to play for the then, silent and that, movies. And there was a her drugstore. Yeah. And then uh, then there was uh, let me see there was a, going towards the river side of it, it was in the, the basement was. Uh, Electronic shop there one time, and then mm -hmm. uh, then there was a couple of those. There was a store, and Bob Bath had a Clover Farm store was there. Clover Leaf or something like that. Clover, yeah, that was in Hills Block. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then there was Doctor mm -hmm. Grevious at office. the end. Yeah. Oh, right okay. He was our family doctor. Yeah, right near the river in the, in the Iron yeah. Bridge. That was there. Yeah. There was like yeah. two or three small grocery stores in that block. Yep, there might have been. Yep. Yeah. I forget all the names, but Harold yeah, and Joe well, Rogers. Really used to talk about it. Yeah. You know, when I was young, and I'm talking about you know, yeah. late forties, early fifties. Yeah. yeah. And then on the yeah. other side yeah. of yeah. yeah, then you come down, coming down. Uh, you cross the street. So, you know, uh, across the street there was um, Myron, Missouri. Well, there was a, a big store in there at one time, and and uh, before Myron. Yeah, before Myron's and and I. I don't. I think that was a garage at one time. Huh. I have a picture of it being a garage. Yeah, oh, yeah. and I'm not quite sure, but I remember Myron Missouri had this was... place because I used to mow their lawn, and yeah. I'd go down there to get paid. <laughs> and, and then, uh, then there was the Five and Dime store. Yep. Out front, uh, out back of that, down the riverside was was a Bob. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In the back of that was my in-laws. <laughs> Relatives of uh, the Burleys. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I was married to a Stanton, and their mother was a Burley, one of those Burleys, and there was an optical in there. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the store on the other side of the Iron Bridge in Northfield? Was it Bob's? Bob's. Yeah, he moved from from the Tilton side over across and had had a store over there. Uh, where was he when he was on the Tilton side? In he was in that Henry. Oh, he. Oh, yeah. yeah. The whole, the uh, Clover Farm, or Clover Lee, oh, or okay. they called it. Yeah. I think he worked for one of those owners over there. Remember, because Harold and Joe used to talk about that, and that he started his own business across the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh. I think so. Yeah, but I know he. Uh, he I, I thought he owned it. I just, you know, because yeah. he just ran it for him, I guess. Yeah. So and after then, reserves. Yeah, after reserves was the, the five and dime. Yeah. And then, um, and then there was Christians. Yeah, that's, 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 that's it. What, what was Christian? It was, was a store, and, market. and then finally, boy and Carl, they bought him out. Moved over there. Yeah. Well, they they bought the store out. They didn't own the building, no. and that's why they moved across the street later because they couldn't make a deal. Oh, okay, uh, that's how it and was. And then it was then Chris Bryant Lawrence. They've been there since eighteen forty-seven. Yeah. And they didn't own it then. It wasn't Bryant Lawrence. It was something else. I've talked with Billy about it several times. You remember Billy's father and and yes. mom? Yes. I, I no. I knew Billy's grandfather because I mowed that one. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. 
I started more and more when I was about 12 years old with yeah. me and more. Sure. And I got a rotary mower. Yeah. It's it a lot of work. Old. Yeah, 18 inch. Yeah. <laughs> sure had to push it. You get a good workout. And then, uh, you know, they, of course, then it was a church. Yep. And then it was a, they used to, I think they used to call it the ideal hotel. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was H Burrs. But wait. Was that a hotel when you you remember yes. it being a hotel? It, it it was like apartments. I could always remember That's right. it was apartments. Tenement, yeah. Yeah. Then some thirty some. And then there was a fire. It was, one time we called it a bell nap. Yeah. I think you know, something like that. And then there was a fire supposedly in that building, and yep. they decided not to go back to it being a a hotel. But down downstairs next to that. There were fires there. Yeah, there was a lot of fires in Tilton. Period. Yeah. But um, then um, H Burrs next door. Yeah, H Burrs. Yeah, that belonged to Nate Kissing. Yeah. And uh, and the other guy, Stanley Ozog. Ozog, thank you. Yeah, was in there. He did so shoes, and I mowed his lawn. <laughs> <laughs> so so he lived on uh, Mill Street. And uh, so, anyways, uh, then. Let me see. Uh, after that was Go Wins. Was the uh, a, the shop? Yeah, no, it was the A and P. Is the A and P before before the it, old man's? No. Yeah. The, the other way around. No, 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 no. We're talking. We're coming from from H Birds. H Birds coming this way. What the hell did you just say now? <laughs> You're talking about the A and P building. Yeah, the A and P building. What yeah. was there before the A and P? I don't know. I don't know. It was yeah, always I. there, you know, that I know of. I think the old man was there first. Pretty good size. No, building. no, he wasn't there. He was he was in the one the Raffley block. Mm. No, that was before. He was up the street. Oh, okay. I, I well I wouldn't I didn't know that. So. Yeah. That then yeah, then it may have been it may have been a he bunch down of small the buildings and there, but I, I just don't in. remember them. You know, then I, I remember when the EMP they built that building and uh, cause we'd go downtown and and watch, watch some building there, you know. What What was the name of the donut shop that was down under? Oh, uh, right uh, next uh, to that building. Uh, That's my grandmother oh, made of donuts. What the hell did Oh, wow. That, yeah. that was a uh, Carew. Carew. <laughs> yeah, that was next to the, the AMP right. building. Yeah, right. Donut, donut, uh, donut Carew, uh, Carew, and she was a Gilbert from yeah. Tilton, up, up, right up there where McDonald's is now. Yeah. My mother used to take me there when I was I was pretty small then. Yeah. So the stairs are right on the sidewalk. Yeah, right on the side of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. It can't be very big in there. No, no, no it's small. They yeah. had uh, baked beans. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Get down there and get baked beans. Oh, yeah. yeah, very nice. Yeah. I don't know if my grandmother, because she, she was pretty the famous daughters, for bread too. Yeah, the so. youngest one was Thelma. Thelma yeah. Jean. Yeah. And uh, they were great friends with my sister Jean out in California. And when I was out in California, I was divorced, and I took her out a few times. Yeah. It didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she could drink more than me. <laughs> 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 so, anyways, now we have other one. And uh, then from there was, well, was Gail's Insurance is now, but that. That building was. Uh, I don't remember anything about uh, that, insurance. That building was an insurance building. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact. 222 Main Street. Oh, these are interesting. Ray Harris Perkins Agency. Hmm. I never saw that. And it's very interesting. Then after that, the church was there. Yeah. At the Methodist Church. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And and the piece uh, when, after they yeah. tore that down, I needed a piece of 12 by 12 uh, American chestnut, and that was built. Up. That was probably they probably had more as, as much American chestnut in this area than we did pine. Oh wow! And my house in Lockmere was built out of that, so I I got a piece out of that from Burt Southworth, 1790s, the earliest touch record, but we think there was a house here 1760. People have been buried at lived in that. So which house is this? On River Road in Lockmere. This was your house? Yep. Oh. Yeah. All post and beam construction? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Is it still there? Big, big wide boards on the outside, yeah. all weathered. Yeah. So they're shiplap. So they... Oh. Is it, do you think the house is still there today? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh, that, that thing's never coming down. Take a look at it sometime. Yeah, it's all big porch in the front now, and everything. they've changed it all around. Yeah, someone else, you don't own that anymore. No. Yeah. I, do have, I, I got my camera out here. I can just show you a picture. Oh, sure. You get it out. But anyways, that's... Um, that's, that's downtown. Then, then through the church, after the church... Was a big building now. Yeah. And that belonged to Lord. Lord Brothers. When yeah. I was, yeah, and they sold cars. And I remember going in the, the basement there one time because we used to service her car in the garage. And there was a Vili in there. It was there for, I mean, it was forever. It, it, cause it's damp down in there. Yeah. And so, you know, and, and uh, this Vili, wait a I looked it up. And see what it was, and they had power parts in the windows in the back. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was it's a big car, you know. Yeah, That's all I can remember about it. But so the basement was accessible from the outside. Yeah, they drove in. She packed her car, uh -huh. and they, in fact, she could back around in it. She had a '55 Buick. I don't think it was a Roadmaster. I think it may have been a special, and it was three colors. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it was black, yellow, and white. Wow. So what kind of business? They used to call it the advanced car for the Barnum and Bailey Circus. Uh -huh. No, uh, black, yellow, and red. It was something like that. It was a white interior. Mm. Mm. So what kind of business was in that building that you remember? I, I don't remember what business was in there. Because originally the brothers... Yeah, she lived up on top. Yeah. And I guess she fell off in, into the river. It was up there. You kind of went... Oh, really? Yeah. That's one of the stories. Because there then used to be... After um, that was a Raffley block, and yeah. that was all apartments and offices and stuff. And I remember Dr. Kathleen and, and uh, Frank, uh, Bernard Robinson, they started there. And I remember going there, I had stomach aches, and they told me I... My problem was I would I ate good because we always ate good in the, my mother's house and and uh, but I would only eat one thing at a time. When I was all gone, I'd go to the next one. She said, "You got to make your stuff you got a stomach ache." <laughs> you wouldn't mix things up. Yeah. <laughs> so, how many how many kids were in your family? It was eleven. A, eleven kids. Yeah. Wow. I'm number nine. You're number nine. I'm number ten. Yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're getting together with number number eleven. Oh wow! Congratulations, that's great. Yeah. Wow. So after that, I you know, was downstairs was uh, Raffley's store. I remember the old man Raffley and the old lady Raffley. Why not? What was uh, uh, the dentist? Yeah, there was uh, a dentist up there. Doctor, the, what was his name? Not I home. should know him. Not home. No. No, not home was that. He was a great friend of Gerard's. This was in the Raffley you building? You don't mean uh, yeah. Quain. You don't mean Quain. Quain, yes. Quain did. Oh, well, yeah. Quain came here after World War II. That's right. he was an army doctor. Army doctor. And he was on the second floor of the building? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I guess so, yeah. You go and get, get teeth work done. He, he, make sure I got there at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'd go downstairs and we'd get a fudgicle. He had to have oh. his fudgicle and I had to have one yeah. with him. <laughs> no, I know Dr. Crane really well. <laughs> and then the last building was the Thompson Block, right? Yeah, that's where the old man moved to. Yeah, well, that's, I would call it the Raffley Block because the Raffleys owned it, so. You know, and I, like, what was in there other than my father's store, I, I don't know. I know what, down where the Indian is, yep, the park, park yep. uh, that was a big store. <laughs> yeah. And I remember... Like the grocery uh, store? I remember when I was a young guy, we had a guy, he lived in Lockmill. He came from Rhode Island. He was a cop in Rhode Island, and, and he was a part-time cop in Tilton. His name was Earl Nolte. Oh. And... Uh, because I've been a motorcyclist all my yeah you know, a, a racer and yeah. professional racer. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I had a BSA Gold Star and I came across the railroad track. And I'm going to say there's probably about 57 or 8. And I just dialed her on and rode down Main Street on a rear wheel. 
<laughs> he see me doing it. <laughs> he had that right, you know, right by his junk shop. Uh -huh. Then he caught up with me one day. He said, "I don't think he ought to be doing that." <laughs> That's all he said. You know, yeah, there was a hall. There was a hall upstairs in that building too. Yeah, yeah. I, there may have been. I'm, I don't I'm think it was sure. the odd floors. I think it, I think it was something floors. else. But there was a big hall up there. A GAR might have been something like that. Yeah. I think they had three floors, if I'm not mistaken, in that building. Yeah, the old yeah. man up, up over the um, movie theater building, you know, the movie theater, they just used the hallway in there. But upstairs, I lived up there when I first got married, because we were renovating the yeah. apartment here. And uh, there was a Masonic Hall was there. Oh. Yeah, you know, that was a good-sized hall. Yeah. And my brother-in-law, hmm. well, my wife's brother-in-law, so, That's where London Virgin lived too, right? He lives, yeah, yeah. in that apartment too. Yeah. Did you guys both go to the Union School? I went there one year. One year. And then uh, they sent me to parochial school in Franklin. Oh. Yeah, St. Mary's. Yeah. yeah. I got the knuckles to I, prove it. <laughs> did you go? Yeah, third grade. From third, third grade on. Yeah? Yeah. And then to the high school, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, because there was no middle school at the time. No, Not no. To, to, to say. No. I went to uh, the uh, junior high school, was right in the high school. Yeah, I went they started school. earlier. I went to school in you know, seventh grade. Yeah. Eighth grade, eighth grade ninth grade. Yeah. yeah. What did you guys do for work? We were machinists. Both you machinists? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I ran a machine shop for... Fifty years. And where was that? I I had one in Lockme. I started that in 1968. Wow. Then I outgrew that and moved to Franklin in the big poultry mill that was there, Stevens Mill. I was one of their first tenants. Oh wow. And after the poultry mill moved out, moved south, like all of them did, you know, and just left everything high and dry. And uh, but. Uh, and I, I, I think I had uh, two thousand square feet or something like that. Of yeah. That first building. That's when we built this. Uh, the... Then we just kept growing, and I had to take more and more space. And That's good. Along come a company that uh, he worked for me several times. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and along come a company that uh, wanted that business because of some of the contracts I had uh -huh. and uh, yep and they I, bought them out and, and I just happened they caught me at the right time I was going through a divorce and yeah good time to change course yeah so anyways uh, they moved it to Laconia and that's still running that's uh, called Scotia now but it's oh, still, wow. still in business and I then they got in trouble and uh, they had a, one of the contracts they couldn't handle and uh, so I, they wanted me to start another business and help them out. And so that was supposed to be like 18 months mm -hmm. to finish off the contract. Mm. And uh, so, uh, well, I ran that for, I don't know, 15 years. And I moved up. I got, I, that was in my garage again. Built the add on to the garage. And then I moved to Nuffield uh, up on Bay Street. I bought oh. out a motorcycle dealer that was there. Is that the the big, is it a brick building? No, it was oh. a wooden building, wooden structure. The flat, does it have a flat roof work, on it? Yeah, huh? yeah, no, it's pitch roof on it. Okay, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Charlie Pucci on that, right? Yeah, corner of, yeah. Corner of uh, Turnpike Road and yeah. Main Street, yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I ran a business there. I don't know how long, I quite a while. I sold it in uh, 2020. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, to a guy that, well, it was a little over his head, I think, but you know, it, but that's okay. Yeah. And uh, then I moved up to my place and he went out of business and I built a big new barn at my place in Lockmere. And I started another one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and. Uh, I was there for, I don't know, 10 years or so. Yeah, very successful. I had enough doing. of it. Yeah. And well, you've been doing it for a long time. Off. I auctioned everything off to the guy that's auctioning it off. 
a friend of mine stuff as, as we speak. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I'm gonna go in and give them a hand. Oh wow. Yeah. So you know it's been a lot, but we built machinery yeah. for it was built machinery and built machine pot. Yeah. I I only had a couple of small products. That, yeah. That's all. But we built a lot of stuff for the food industry, especially fish. Oh yeah. Donald fillet of fish. Yeah. Fish sticks. Yeah. Yeah. We wow. Could, at one time, we, we were geared, the machineries were geared to do um, 50 ton a day. Wow. Now you can't lot. get 50 ton a month. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Leo, yeah. what about you? Me? What, did, what, what exactly were you doing for, for work? I know that you were Well, after I got out of the service. Yeah. And I went to Boston University. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I decided I wanted to go into biz business. So I went to work for Scott Williams. And I worked there 15 years, and then they gave me 18 years when they sold out. Oh. And two years to my contract. Wow. And then after that, I, let's see, who, what did I work I worked for you for, right after that for a while. Yep. Yep. That, yep. Was, in, that was in Franklin. That's where we were building the yeah. big band yeah. 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 Big band for them fish industry and yeah. the meat industry. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. We were building those things. He got me. Uh, yeah. We modified a piece of machinery so they could do the, we could do all the wheels on it. Yeah. Big wheels. Do 24 inch wheels and 14 inch wheels. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine what goes into all of the planning and what you need. You have to have a mind of an engineer. Yeah. Well, we, we had to have one that we could Put all the grooves and everything for the, to, yeah. so the belt would. Well, actually, it was was, was the. Well, we had we, it, in other words, these bandsaws ran so fast. Mm -hmm. We have to call them, you know, the fastest bandsaw in the world. Mm. You know, it ran yeah. two, uh, it ran seven thousand two hundred seventy surface feet per minute. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> that, that thing is just humming, you know. Yeah. Because you don't want um, a lot of flesh, you know. So it has to slice yeah, through. It's, it's only a fourteen thousand thick. Yeah. Wow. Blade, see. Blade. So it was a, three, it's like three, a laser almost. Three, yeah. Jeez. So, anyways, um, so everything has to run dead true, perfect. Yeah. You know, and the bearings are. Some of the best bearings you could get, you know, because they, because they run so fast. It sounds like if there's ever an accident, it could be really. Well, if there's an accident, the way it had safeguards on it. That yeah. We, you know, I did a lot of. I didn't do the design, the initial designing. I just helped on it, mm -hmm. and because I knew what, what, you know, what we could do to the machine, and uh, I. With part of a, an engineering firm in, in Danvers, Mass. And so I was in on everything that, that was being built that we were going to build, anyways. So, anyways, um, we got those machines, and, and he came up with an idea on this on this vertical turret lathe that, I, that was in the damn mill. <laughs> and I said, This thing is the thing we're looking for. Yeah. Just to turn these wheels, so we could turn the barren structure, you know, with, with the barren pockets, yep. the outside wheels of, uh, you know, all three sides, and uh, all at once in one setting, so that everything's going to run dead true to one another. Wow. And Very we precise never had a work. Look at trouble, and we also made redesigned you know the wheels uh, they were all casting cast on cast and made by Hebert foundry on Laconia and so that uh, to balance these that we made the webs a certain way because they were spoke wheels so that we could grind off some of the webs because uh, you can't have any pockets or pit holes or anything in food machinery for contamination yeah. purposes right sure so you had to design everything like that. Perfect. They get yeah. washed down, you know, sometimes twice a day. Yeah. You know, yeah, you don't want to get salmonella. Caustic soda water and hot water and caustic soda. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, it's edible and stuff like that. So.
Do you, so do you guys remember the mills? Do you remember the mill? Were the mills there across from the police station in Tilton when you guys were little? No. Those were already gone? They were already gone. Yeah, I remember, you know, going up there swimming. Yeah? Yeah, and, you know, on a long bridge, uh, a railroad bridge. That's right. Kids used to jump off that bridge, from what I understand. Yeah. Mm. So the dam must have been in operation because right, right now, if you jump off that bridge, dam, you hit rocks. The dam was there. <laughs> the dam was there. And uh, but it, it, you know, there wasn't any gates in it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just so, the rock foundation they had. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, still it, you could still the see that. Where was, there was a uh, concrete. Yeah. Abutment, you know, and stuff like yeah. that. So they, they were there. So that backed up water. And I remember, right. You know. And it was deep enough for swimming. The tube. <laughs> yeah. So. How about the mills here near Park Street? Uh, the leather mill well, that was that must have been there. Yes, yeah, yeah. The leather mill was there, and uh, Chris Arthur Brown and Endless Belt was there. Yep. Yeah. How about Soret Battery? Yeah, Soret Battery was across the street. That was part of uh, they. Oh, let me see. They call it the Gibson Mill. Gibson yeah. Mills. Yeah. They yeah. changed and, names. I get all confused. And, uh, then and uh, then it was Stevens Mills. Yeah. Stevens Mill was in there, and yeah. then it became Soret Battery. Which had done a lot of work for them too. <laughs> yeah, I, I went to work over in that Stevens Mill when I got out of the service. What did you do there? What? What did you do at the, at the mill? Oh, I I was a uh, uh, weaver or something, weren't you? I I took the the bolts to go off, give them to the ladies to fill. Oh. Yeah. To clean them. Were there a lot of people employed there? Oh yeah, they were a big outfit. They were yeah. good in the world. Oh really? Yeah, wow. now they're fourteenth. Oh boy, huh? Oh well, they they took it south, and that was the biggest mistake they ever yeah. took. Yeah, and they, they know it. They provided a lot of jobs. Well, until they tried to go back north, know. and nobody would have them. They left they left both places dirty. Yeah, Franklin and mm. oh, they had they had a, an outfit in Franklin too. Oh yeah, that's yeah, what they had an big, office. Big outfit. They were right on the water, of, both sides of the river, huh? right there in Franklin, right there with where the Kayak Park is We're now. downtown. Right in there. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm. There's another thing. When I had the machine shop, I started doing work for the hydro because I had some big machinery mm. and all these hydros were, some of them were still being used in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And um, the one in Franklin, uh, when they started the state said that all these uh you know small generators can pump into the to the grid uh so the state you know gave them uh so many cents per kilowatt i think it was about 17 cents then, which was pretty damn good money but all of these had to be restored and rebuilt and i got in with another outfit and uh that was rebuilding these and that's what I, I did a lot of work for them. I mean, a lot of work. <laughs> mm. And uh, restoring all these hydros that are in there. And, uh, and even the one in Tilton here. How did, how did you learn all this? You just learn. You just know? over time, just spending time. Do you ever make a muffin? We yeah. can get it, get it out of a book. Show you how to make put all the ingredients together. So you learn from somebody else, and okay. you just expand on it. You know, yeah. you make a muffin. You want to make a blueberry muffin? Throw some blueberries in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it sounds yeah. like a lot of the knowledge you have, you learned over time. Yeah, of yes. you've accumulated I, from doing things. Yeah, I'm not afraid to read. I'm an avid reader. Yeah, all the books I bring down to the Legion, and those are just a few that I bring in here to give to people. Good for you. How about your siblings? What did they do? Did they were you two the only ones that got into like machine shops or were other people in your other siblings also doing uh, that kind yeah, of work? Yeah, my brother Bob worked in it. He worked for me, one of my older brothers. And, uh, yeah. That, you know, he worked a couple times for me. And, and uh, then uh, my brother David, my younger brother, he was a machinist, but he was also a wastewater treatment engineer. Where? <laughs> and oh, well, he was uh, started up the one in Concord. Then he went to Sunapee, and that's where he moved. That's when he moved to Sunapee. But he'd been around machine shops, so he worked at Wyman Garden down. Well, it was our woods then, and 
yeah. you know, GE, and, yeah. and he went to school for up in Maine for wastewater treatment. Wow. And he got his degree, then he moved to Sunapee and ran that one, but uh, then when uh, the uh, federal money got dried up, you know, he he went up to uh, Hanover. Yeah. Ran that one, then he went back in the machine shop. He had his own machine shop for a little while, but... Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. I, mean, I used to trade work with him. And most of the machine shop guys were kind of like that around here. Mm -hmm. It's a big tent. You yeah. Know, you get a job you can't do, but you know somebody else can do it. Right. You know, help each other out. Mm. Did you guys ever go up to the soldiers' home when yes. you were little? Yep. Yep. My well, what do you remember about that place, the old building? The old building. I remember those guys, they, they used to grow their own stuff up there. They had Correct. cattle. Yep. yep. It was self-sufficient. My father used to go up there and trade with them once in a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that in the county home, Merrimack County home. <laughs> yeah, I remember some of the old soldiers. Yep. You know, they, you yep. know, they were the walking wounded, you know. They would come all around. Yeah. I hear some of them used to go down to the Legion. <laughs> yeah, the Legion. Because they weren't uh, supposed to drink, but I hear that some of them oh, would yeah, like to yeah, throw yeah. a couple Until, back. Once Ken Todd took over, he told them, we'll take you down there. You can have a couple of drinks. The bus will be back out there, pick you up, yep. take Bring you, you home. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like they're just yeah. running the same policy, ain't they? You, you don't see the bus? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. No, how this no, no, going not the ones that are up there now can't go anywhere. I mean, yeah, they are, right. Know. That's why yeah. they're there. I remember them yeah. coming down to Tilton Inn for yep. sure. Yep. Yeah, there was three or four of them there. One guy was always dressed so up in a suit and tie every time he came in. Really? The well, gas station. Charlie called, Poindexter, I think his name was. Called oh. Total, yeah. I guess it is now, where Joe Roberts used to be. Yeah. The gas station there. When I worked there, or we started working there when I was 15, they thought I had a license because they had that car. <laughs> Drive around. And uh, Joe wanted me to work for him, you know, nice and stuff like that. But anyway, I remember the old soldiers coming in there, and you know, they get a coke. Yeah. You know, and a lot of sometimes uh, one of the guys that worked there, you know, he wouldn't let them pay. He'd come right over. And, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, That's with, great. Uh, your father, uh, your your half sister, it? yeah, your half sister there, or whatever. Prescott. No, uh, Dick Mo Mo Dick Moss. Dick Moss. Okay. Dick Moss. I, I know who he is, but yeah, uh, I got you. Yeah. 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 Moss. Dick Moss. Yeah. What, what was in the building where uh, looking at uh, Roberts, the okay. brick building on the right? What okay. Was it? Yeah, that was a garage. When I was a kid, that was a garage. Grand Estate. Grand Estate. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. sold. Yeah. Uh, That's they right. They sold yeah. international trucks, and then after that was Maytall. That's when I was. Yeah. Uh, Worked in the gas station. Okay, now wasn't there a uh, pool hall there in that building at one time too? Because there was there were apartments out back, right? Or upstairs. I don't, re I don't remember if there was one in mm. there. I, I Actually, remember, it was probably they, before I that gas station. Remember Maytall in there, and they made light talking. Yeah. There's one of the things, huh. and they had automatic screw machines. Huh. And I remember going in there, and they wanted me to come in there and work. Part time nights after I closed the gas station. Was, Ch was Charlie Martin still there? Yeah. The blacksmith? Yeah. No, he was down in back. There was a garage next, right, right next to the railroad tracks. You know, there, there's a parking lot there now. Okay. And there was a gas station there. Maybe Keniston ran it. Now, okay, that's what you're talking about. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Then, that's uh, what was there. Keniston. Yeah. Then, uh, then uh, in the back was an apartment house. I think Ricky Davis was there. He sure did. Yeah. Yep. And then was the Buckman shop. Black, yeah. Yep. That's where Roy Sawyer. Oh, that was that was down here, Roy Sawyer. Yeah, but he, he worked he worked it down the end of the behind. Oh, he did. He was in over there. Yeah, he uh, worked with the guy. That's oh, what he okay. went like. No. Okay. He we'll talked about Roy Sawyer. He claimed he shoed the <laughs> Queen's horses with golden shoes. That, oh really? That's what I was gonna tell you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, he uh, he had a blacksmith shop down you know, the end of the street, right yeah. behind Brooklyn Road. Across from the train. Right there where uh, Connor Birch Drive and yeah. the street. And yeah. I what he was he I mean if if, if bullshit was asphalt, we'd have had a brand new road all the way to Boston. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, you know 
he was a pretty good blacksmith, I guess. Yeah. People yeah. tell me, you know. I remember yeah. he had a big car, and uh, cause he uh, he get pretty tipsy when he get drinking, and he came around that corner one time. Yeah. I remember uh, he hit the he hit the monument. Oh, he did. Yeah, the old Indian would go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember it. Then uh, it is. Bumper, and I think he had a either an Auburn or a Buick. I can't remember. We had somebody that had an Auburn, and the old man bought an Auburn. Pa, pa bought that Auburn afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I, I th oh, he bought that from Hazelton. No, no. Uh, they used to live. I guess they lived next to us in Franklin. No, I don't. Yeah. That. Anyways, well, okay. So I, I can't quite remember that far back. Did you ever ride with Steve Terrian? Yes. Yes. Oh, that, that so I, I cut my I cut my finger off at the junkyard down here. I was down over the bank and where the cars were down there, and I was standing on it. It was right near the river, and I was standing on the car, and I, I was fishing. And I love me a little cut it on a piece, got piece of metal. Get off. out of here! Yeah, so where was this junkyard? Gave me a, gave, my mother called him up because my father had the car somewhere. And, Took me to the hospital and Doc Grevier and uh, I think uh, Crop, I mean uh, Frank Crop, cut the finger off and I had hmm. a bunch of lords and stuff in my. Where was? I never got them back. I <laughs> to this day I accuse them of stealing them. <laughs> Where was the junkyard? Because I heard about that. Yeah. Okay. That was uh, well right there where uh, that coffee shop is. Behind there was. A... Yeah. Yeah. That used to be, I'm talking years ago, late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, so way before the junkyard, used to be another park. It was called Morehouse Point because the land there goes out it into goes, the river. Goes out, yes. So right. that used to be another piece of land owned by Charles Tilton yep. that used to be another park for the residents of Tilton. Um, and from what I've seen, it's an elevated piece of land, that's right, yep. a peninsula that goes out. Yep, that's right. Yep. So when there was a junkyard there, was it on that peninsula or was just it? Part, just this side of it, just this side so of it. So before like, you go out. There was a out. cove that went in there. Yeah. And there was a lot of pickle in there and that's what I was Oh, yeah. yeah. The land there is very uneven in there. It's yeah. all yeah. very yeah. hilly, yeah. a lot of yeah. deep yeah. trenches and everything. Yeah. Interesting, and there's no sign of any trash there now, of course, because I'm no, sure that they reclaimed. cleaned it out. Yeah. And yeah. Did they haul everything the guy off? Named Dave Barbuto bought all that land from Tony Turgeon. Uh, yeah, before. and they cleaned it all out. Yeah, then uh, Tony's nephew, or I guess from Tony's nephew, or yeah, it was his nephew. Yeah, that uh, that had all that land he inherited. Yeah, yeah, I know Tony Turgeon too. The story before I got. This car, I found he had a nice, it weren't nice, it was a, a 30, 36 Ford convertible, Rumble C, and I wanted it. Mm. And I, he charged me $30 for it. Yeah. <laughs> and my father was pissed off because it needed a lot. It <laughs> needed a lot of work. You know? yeah. It didn't run or nothing. And no. I, I knew the damn thing was going to be worth something someday, but I was good. I had a lot of cars I thought was going to be worth something, and I never kept them. I just made me take it back. Yeah. And I remember the, I bought it from the guy named Stuck Lappy. Mm -hmm. You know, come from Samadon, I think. All the Lappy. They're all the Lappies. I don't know what his first name, really, first name was. But, anyways, I brought it back and told my father, my brother's brother, towed it down for me. Bill, I think. Yeah. It was. Tony says, I just give you $25 for it. I said, well, I paid 30. I said, well, it's restocking fee. <laughs> 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 then Mr. Turgeon, he was one of the the owners in the mill in Franklin, along with uh, a guy named Regular Plant and uh, the Hill Brothers from Chilton, Warren and Brockett. And I, I got... Uh, uh, I rented some space for them, and I, I could tell you some horror shows that went into that mill. Mm. Mr. Turgeon, Mr. Turgeon had a very good vocabulary. 
but I don't think he comprehended what he was saying a lot oh. of times, you know. <laughs> but, uh, it's, but we were good friends for a while, and then, I don't know, we became enemies, I guess. Mm. I was, he was my landlord. Yeah, it's funny you well, mentioned... Well, you would know, we would get heat in the wintertime at 11 o'clock. And we sat at six. Yeah. The Hill family, do you have do you have any memories of buildings actually being moved? Yes. Here in Tilton? Yeah. Uh, not in Tilton, but um, the uh, only one uh, that I could think of would be down at Strawberry Bank. Well, they had to take a building, and I think it was a... It was a big, big building that they moved from somewhere in town there. Yeah. And I remember uh, Brackett was a very, very intelligent man. I went to school with his daughters. One of his, one of his daughters was in my class, the other one was a year ahead. And anyways, he had it all figured out that you shave off one part of a building in town there and it's right near Market Street, Market Square, I guess. And his rig would just make it around there. And they said it, you know, that's the story I've been told, but I, I know where that building is now down there. Wow. And it went right around. And he moved it with the windows in it. That's amazing. <laughs> we have a picture of them moving a brick building. Yeah. That's hard to picture because... Now, was that the one in Portsmouth? I, I don't know. I think I'd have, so. It was That's a big building, Victorian right? fancy building, and it was up off the ground, yep. and they were moving it, and I was amazed that they could move something made out of brick, because mm. unlike wood... They didn't have any real heavy equipment. They had, you know, everything was rollers and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but they, basic things. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, huh. I remember their father, too. And uh, old, I think his name was Warren, wasn't the old man? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, his name was Brackett. And I remember him. Uh, what would you rather do, or go fishing? <laughs> that was one of his saying. <laughs> well, I think we covered a lot of ground. I want to thank you both yeah. for uh, talking to us today. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take some copies of the pictures, and yeah. um, we're going to post this on our Facebook now page this? and on YouTube. But uh, thank, thank you well, both very much.